What's up everybody? Um, it's your boy Ace. I just want to make sure everybody has been having a pretty good week because um, I know my last video kind of cut short. Um, I was kind of upset at that but um, I didn't want to delete it because it had a lot of good pictures and I really didn't feel like making another episode. <laughs> so um, yeah it got cut short because of some copyright stuff but I will be more more cautious about that so yeah moving on um here's something that a lot of you guys i know everybody out there can relate to because i've come to realize that tv has become an addiction to some people well to most people like i remember when tv was like okay not that many people would watch it and stuff like that like it'll be like okay i was young we'll go on saturdays and watch cartoons and stuff like that but the cartoons nowadays, I don't know what happened to them, the creators, and, ugh, they've just gone down the drain. Like, whatever happened to, like, the old school cartoons, like, Doug and, like, Hey Arnold and all that stuff. Like, I, I, I miss the good old days. I know a lot of you do. But I've come to realize that TV has become an addiction. Like, it's like, now that should be considered a drug. TV is definitely a drug. Because just the other day, I was in the room, I was on the computer, you know, um, and my mom, <laughs> my mom wanted to watch TV, so she was like, looking for the remote, and I know a lot of you, this has happened to you, I know it has happened to you, and she's like, looking all over for the remote, and she's like, oh my god, where's the remote, where's the remote, like, like she was like, it's like being on crack, like, what the hell, like, where's the remote, <laughs> and I just sit there and laugh, because, it's like, you go through all this trouble just to find the remote when you could easily just get up and like turn the TV on or change the channel like in the cable box. And it's like, it's become such an addiction like for TV that you go crazy just for the remote. And it's like, it's crazy. Like what has, you know, the media done to us? Like we, we're like zombies and we need TV, but I don't know. <laughs> I love TV, so I can't complain. <laughs> Alright, so now I want to take this time to talk about something a little more serious that's um, affecting our community. And it kind of hurts me that a lot of people are so close-minded and so ignorant, um, especially within our community, because, you know, people don't like other people being, like, shady or, you know mean and stuff like that but though they contradict that and they do it themselves and then it also it it's like we're so um so ignorant how we think about things like you know HIV and protecting ourselves and you you know some people they like go and have sex without condoms and they be like oh you know, they don't really worry about it, like it's always spur of the moment, but you should always wear a condom, like no matter what, because, you know, it's possible to like actually catch that, and, you know, I've met people who actually were positive, and, you know, they tell me, like, you know, it's hard, because people are so ignorant. I want to say this one thing, like, because I've taken courses on that and stuff like that, and you can, you know, it's not the end of the world, it's not a death sentence, you could, you know, take your medication, you can live a long and healthy life, you know, just stay on your medication and, you know, and protect yourself, you know, and it's hard because, you know, when you're positive, like, when people are positive and they try to like, you know, talk to people and actually be honest about their status and people are so quick to like shut them down because of that. You should never shut somebody down because of that because you know what? They're just a regular person. Just because they're positive doesn't mean, you know, you can transmit that. You know, they can, like, they can pass it on, but that's if you don't follow your safety precautions. You know, always wear a condom and stuff like that. 
a positive person can be in a relationship with a negative person. It just, you know, it it takes a lot of strength and you know, you just have to communicate because they're regular people, you can, you know, you can be with somebody that's positive and still stay negative as long as you know you're safe. So when people, you know, I've heard this, I heard about this like so many times, people are actually ignorant enough to like, you know, push these people away when, you know, they're just regular people. There's just regular people, there's nothing different, you know, and it's sad that people are so ignorant about that. And, you know, it, it brings me to my, you know, question of this week. I'm gonna, I'm doing this a little bit different because, you know, I've gotten ideas and suggestions from people online and <clears throat> they don't want me to um, ask people the question of the day, like interview people. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put up the question of the, the week. I'm gonna put up the question of the week so that you all can answer it and you know it you know it'll help you know you can leave comments you know video responses you know I always enjoy watching other people's video responses to my videos because you know it makes me want to do more videos so this is a very serious topic and there's so many different opinions about this and you know I would like to hear all of your So me as a negative person, I, you know, it, it'll be hard to say somebody that's positive, but I will not deny them that. Like, we're not here on this earth to judge people. Because if you don't want people judging you, don't judge somebody else. Whether it be, you know, their status, whether it be um, if they do drugs, drink, party, um, drag, um, they, it's all different kind of, it's so many different kind of lifestyles out there and we shouldn't, we shouldn't judge people on that. So if you don't want a way to judge you, don't judge nobody else. All right. So this is wrapping up my show and like I said, I would love to hear from y'all. Answer the question of the week with a video response or comment. Um, don't forget to to um, subscribe and you'll leave love. All right, so keep tuning in and that's all. You'll have another video next week. See ya. Lately I've been hard to reach. I've been too long on my own. Everybody has a private world where they can be alone.